The tooth eruption sequence for the primary dentition, otherwise known as baby teeth, can be difficult to remember. Here, we'll be going over two methods that will allow us to recall the order at which the baby teeth come in very easily. First, let's go over the FDI numbering system for the primary teeth so that we're on the same page. We have up to 20 primary teeth in total. 10 upper teeth, also called maxillary teeth, and 10 lower teeth, also called mandibular teeth. If we divide our teeth into four sections or quadrants, we will have five teeth in each quadrant, each of them displaying a unique morphology as well as eruption time. One corresponds with the central incisor, two with the lateral incisor, three is the canine, and four and the five are first and second molars respectively. The first method is using the rule of force, and it's very easy to remember. The drawback is that it's more of a ballpark estimate it does not yield the most accurate eruption time ranges, but it is still very useful when trying to remember the eruption sequence on the fly. The first step to the rule of force method is to write down the numbers of the teeth that will erupt in order. The order is as follows. 1, 2, 4, 3, 5. Basically counting up from 1 to 5, but switching the order of 3 and 4. Next, we'll write down the corresponding age in months at which each of these teeth will erupt. The first number is 7 months. And from here on, we'll simply add 4 to the number as we go from left to right. So after 7, we will get 11, then 15, then 19, then 23. Easy as that. We can now see that the central incisor, the 1, will erupt at around 7 months, the lateral incisors at 11 months, the first primary molars at 15 months, the canines at 19 months, and finally the second molars at around 23 months. The second method will yield a much more accurate tooth eruption sequence as it will give us the exact age ranges for each type of tooth. This method is called the MI method. Our numbers for the months are going to be different as they are more accurate this time around. For our top teeth, the months are as follows. 10, 11, 16, 19, 29. For our bottom teeth, it is going to be 8, 13, 16, 20, 27. These numbers aren't as easy to remember as it was for the roll of fours, but let's try to break it down. In the middle, both the upper and lower first molars erupt at around month 16. For the upper three and fives, we can try to remember the year 1929, which is the year the famous magician Harry Houdini passed away. Rest in peace. For our lower threes and fives, we can try to remember the year 2027, which is the year Wade Owen Watts, the protagonist of the movie and novel Ready Player One, was born. For our upper numbers corresponding with the teeth one and two, the numbers are 10 and 11. We can remember this by remembering that October 11 is one month after 9-11. Never forget. And finally, our last numbers to remember is 8 and 13. And 813 is the area code for the city of Tampa, Florida. The second step to the MI method involves highlighting or circling certain numbers. We'll start it off with a yellow highlight, shaping it in such a way that it makes it look like the first half of the letter M. Next, we'll make the second half of that letter M with an orange highlight, like so. And finally, we'll highlight the last row that will make it look like an I with a pink highlight. For the yellow highlighted numbers, we're going to plus and minus 2 to the number of months. So the 8 months will turn into 6 to 10. The 10 months will turn into 8 to 12, the 11 will turn to 9 to 13, and the 16 will turn into 14 to 18. We're going to do the same thing with the orange highlighted numbers, except this time it will be plus and minus 3. And for the pink highlighted numbers, we're going to apply plus and minus 4 to yield these numbers. That's it. We now have the complete, accurate age ranges at which the baby primary teeth will come in. To summarize, here's a little visual aid for our primary eruption sequence. From months 6 to 10, we could expect our very first baby teeth to come in, which is the mandibular central incisors. This will quickly be followed by the upper central incisors coming in at the months 8 to 12. 
The upper laterals will then come in from months 9 to 13, followed by the lower laterals coming in any time from months 10 to 16. The baby will then skip the canines and go straight to the upper first molars from months 13 to 19, and then the lower first molars will usually follow at months 14 to 18. The upper canines will then fill the gap during months 16 to 22, and the lower canines will do the same from months 17 to 23. Lastly, the lower second molars will come in at around months 23 to 31, while the upper second molars will come in during months 25 to 33. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful dental educational videos in the future. We also have another video to help you remember the permanent dental eruption sequence, so make sure to check that out using the clickable link on the screen.